Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good evening. At long last, it is finally time. We've had a lovely week's delay, and we are now here for the grand finals of Hippo Cup 7, featuring Team Old Navy against Team Let's Get Hey Barbecue. It, I think nobody's surprised at all to see Old Navy here. I think a lot of people are surprised to see Let's Get K Barbecue here. Um, but I think we're going to have a good time with this grand final. It should be pretty fun. I'm T1G. Joining me is at least Dio and possibly K as well. Not sure. Good morning, Dio. Welcome fresh in from SSOT. How's it going, buddy? Good morning. It is 1 p.m. I have spent the whole day casting. I am ready to cast some more. Uh, yeah, I think if you looked at the signups before this tournament started, uh, you saw Old Navy at the top and you were like, okay, well, GG, congrats on the win. Um, because they have Rektigon, Badu, Malashevsky, Reed Cat, Arnold, Enry, Intercambing, Emrek, and Ryuke on the team. Um, and while, yeah, there are a lot of other really good tournament players on uh, some of the other teams, like Eight Goats and Riot, for example, um, or Black Belt with some really, really good Brazilian and Ukrainian tournament players, or uh, even Rustin Minotov that we saw two weeks ago, right? Um, or Utsua Carey with a lot of really, really good USA players. Um, the fact that Let's Get K Barbecue here, I think, is probably pretty surprising to a lot of people because this team, yeah, is a lot of good USA players, but really the two most recognizable tournament players on this roster are... Takito and Freddie Benson, and that's kind of it. Um, the rest of this roster has, of course, proven themselves to be very, very good throughout the course of the tournament um, and to be better than expectations would have you believe throughout the course of the tournament. But uh, it doesn't make it any less surprising that they have done this well. It's surprising in a good way. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a positive sort of surprise. They got really good performances out of, uh, like, notably, I think, you know, Takito and then um, the... the uh, Freddie Benson, like that's been the big story, I suppose, is, you know, Freddie Benson, a guy who you don't see a lot in tournaments, um, but has showed up and, you know, on, on V1, where it's really possible to kind of solo carry stuff, um, he's he's shown up and been able to do that. Obviously, you know, the elephant or the, the hippopotamus in the room, if you will, um, you know, being, of course, that we had the forfeit in the loser's bracket final, very unfortunate. So, you know, it, it was uh, Hippo Cup, what, forfeiting to Let's Get K Barbecue, a team that they had previously beaten. Um, a couple rounds ago in the winner's bracket, so, you know, you can say what you want about how that match may have gone, but, um, unfortunately for all that you have the carry potential of Takedo and of Freddie Benson on the side of Let's Get K Barbecue, uh, the other side has the carry potential of literally pretty much every name that you listed off of that roster. Yes. Um, so this is, you know, a, a bit of a David versus Goliath sort of situation here. Yeah, they have three players who are number one BWS on Old Navy. They have one, two, three other players who are number two BWS on Old Navy. Um, and then the remaining three players are number three, four, and five BWS yeah. on Old Navy. They're, I mean, they're team, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're team yeah. average. I think it's top, is it top six, I think? Team average is BWS ranked two. I mean, yeah. it's kind of busted. Yeah. Um... It, so it, a little strong, yeah, a little strong of a team. And it's really unfortunate to me that uh, Eight Goats and Riot, um, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, they trolled, uh, didn't get through groups because they no showed a match. Um, it, yeah, and like, I don't that team wouldn't I don't think have beaten Old Navy, but I think they were one of those rosters that was looked at as like these are guys who could definitely put a little bit of fear into Old Navy in a late round pool uh, because they've got players that scale really well. So not getting to see them at all past group stage, uh, a little bit, and by a little bit I mean a lot of it, disappointing. Um, but what can you do? Yeah. So uh, we did get some bans already. I saw the Nomad Four and or Nomad Five and DC Six bans come out earlier. Uh, from both these teams, Nomad 4 also banned out by Old Navy, just banning out the ridiculous gimmick stuff and saying, we don't want to play you on gimmick, we want to play you on uh, some of the more, you know, mechanics-focused stuff. And uh, let's get K-Barbecue saying, no thank you, we ban out <laughs> DT6 and Free Mod 4. Um, so banning out some uh, maps that are very good for players like, I think, uh, Enry and Malashevsky on the side of Old Navy. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how this match goes because, you know, if you're, let's say, K-Barbecue against Old Navy, you can't pick into a weakness because there isn't a weakness to really pick into, right? So it's just pick what you're 
pick your best maps and hope for the best, as it kind of always is against super teams like this, um, which, you know, in several previous matches have been tapping maps, right? They have Takedo, they have Freddie Benson, they have Toki, um, some very solid tapping players on that roster. Um, so, you know, if they want to opt into stuff like, you know, your, your DT2, DT3 kind of realm, your Nomad2 kind of realm, um, might be an option for them. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it, it, This is, of course, the, the one and only match we're going to get to see on this pool, so we don't really have any sort of feel for how anyone is going to perform on any given map, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. Always like to have that little bit of data. Um, but I guess it, it almost benefits the loser's team, right? Because it means they don't have to give away information by playing an entire match previous to this one. Uh, so we've got that going for them, right? Yeah. Um, so we'll see if they're able to make good use of that. Hard Rock one first pick. Uh, it is going to be, as you said, those mechanics... 257 BPM Hard Rock Speed Aim Hybrid here for Let's Get K Barbecue. Uh, again, I think just picking into the strongest players on their roster, Takedo Toki Pez and Freddie Benson, all generally pretty solid on the speed. We saw two weeks ago, uh, Freddie Benson and Pez in particular pop off a lot on the speed maps in their loser's bracket match. So uh, kind of expecting them to continue to pick into those just basic mechanic picks. Uh, throughout the rest of the match. Uh, that said, picking mechanics into a team with the number one player in the world on it um, is still pretty hard. So we'll see if they're able to convert on some of these points. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how what I was saying before, right? It's like you just pick what you hope you're going to be, you're going to do well on, and you have to not worry so much about expectations of your opponents because you're looking in, you're looking down the barrel of, you know, Emrek Malashevsky, Rektigan. On, on Hard Rock High BPM aim, like, that's just terrifying. Um, so you kind of have to ignore it and just do your best with your own picks and see what happens, yeah. I don't know. It, it the, the Let's Get K Barbecue team has made a habit so far in this tournament of overcoming adversity. Um, I don't really think they've been a favorite in any of their matchups for quite some time, um, and they've continued to win them and remain alive in the bracket regardless. So... You know, what's what, what's one more match where they're being doubted and being considered the, the massive underdogs when they've already been doing that a bunch so far? They've got that mental on their side. Uh, so we'll see how they can perform. Map number one here, grand finals. It's going to be Andrew Rektigan, Malashevsky, Emrek. It's going to be Takedo Toki, Pez, and Freddie Benson. Best of 15. So we got a ways to go. This one could take a while. Let's get K-Barbecue hoping for their sake that maybe it does just that, because I think a lot of people would expect this to be a pretty quick one in favor of Old Navy, but they want to approve otherwise. Yeah, I think if they do win this for Let's Get K-Barbecue, it's going to be a slugfest, um, because the roster depth for Old Navy is definitely there at the highest level. Um, and while Let's Get K-Barbecue has overcome adversity multiple times to get to this point, um, they have not shown the same level of roster depth as Old Navy throughout the tournament. So uh, it's going to have to be a slugfest, I think, if they're going to win this. And it's looking like one to start here as Emrek finding a couple of misses here in the beginning of this map. Uh, not what you expect of a player like him on this sort of pick. There go Takedo and Toki, though. And now suddenly Emrex misses don't really matter because it's just as alone now with that miss from Petty Benson versus now with a miss from Rektigon, Enri, and Malashevsky. Uh, but still the advantage. And there go Pez and Enri on the exact same pattern. So it's just Malashevsky on the hidden hard rock, still with the full combo. And this is what we were talking about with the skill cap of this team. Even if three players break, there's still probably somebody who can play the map and hold on to an FC. Yeah. You know, you can you talk about like, oh, you want to have that guy on your team in these high pressure situations, right? Um, high leverage moments. And it feels like just about everyone on Old Navy can be considered that guy, um, you know, who, it, who right now is Malashevsky. It's just there's always going to be somebody, like you said, holding on to some big combo because you've got so many just amazingly talented sure, players. Still on roster. And yeah, he is still holding on to the FC. And you're not seeing a lot coming out of Let's Get KBR. You've got some recovery combo on Freddie Benson, but the lead is about 9 million Ooh. points uh, being cut off a little by our heads there, unfortunately. But uh, now there's just no combo anywhere. Even with the full reset from Old Navy, you still have an 8 million score lead. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> you still have a giant lead, uh, but it's just not going to matter much coming down to uh, the last quarter of the map here. Yeah, this is what Old Navy is going to do to you. They're just going to have somebody yeah. with combo, and they're going to make a big lead out of it. 
yeah, not much you can do uh, for the side of KBarbQ on this map in particular. Um, we'll see if that can change throughout the rest of the match. But this first pick gone awry in the favor of Old Navy by about 8 million points right now. Uh, and increasing as we see some more breaks coming through for Let's Get K Barbecue. And a full team wipe is going to make that nearly a 10 million score lead. Just under 9 million team score in favor. Uh, just over, actually, by the end of the map in favor of Old Navy. Nicely done, particularly from Malashevsky. 13, almost 14 million score by himself. And he also hit the ending. By the way, he's the only person in the lobby to hit that pattern at the end, which was pretty pretty nuts. Yeah, I had double the combo of anyone else in the lobby. Nine forty six, next best combo under five hundred. Yeah, Malachevsky in grand finals. I mean, you know what to expect out of him at this point in his legendary career, and he's just gonna look to do that once more. Uh, and there's 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 the start that Old Navy wanted, and this is exactly what you dread if you're Let's Get K Barbecue, and you know probably expect if you're Let's Get K Barbecue, but. Yeah. You, you still have hope in your own picks, so when they go like that, it's not going to be the greatest. Uh, Emmerich bottom scoring that map, not something I had on the bingo card, but he has been complaining about sleep recently uh, with these very, very late matches. I mean, I think it's, uh, what is he, plus 10 right now, right? So it is 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning for him. He might be plus 11, I think, daylight savings time, maybe. Um, so it might be 4, 10 in the morning for him. Um, so, you know, it's it's... At, at some point, you have to give the man some credit just for staying up and being here, uh, let alone playing the maps. So, um, yeah, I think you're going to expect a lot of the other members who uh, are not playing at quite so late a time to be carrying a lot of these picks for Old Navy, despite how good Emrek looked in SSOT just uh, a few minutes ago. Yeah, worth noting, uh, immediately after that SSOT match, he did tweet out that he plans we'll see he plans to stop playing team tournaments because of this exact issue like when you're stuck perma playing at 16 17 utc when you're in australia it's just rough i mean scheduling for that region against anywhere else in the world is with like mixed teams is a, a massive challenge so i don't really blame him there at all um, yeah but, you know he's showing up and he's gonna obviously put up a good performance because his skill is so high uh goodbye dio hopefully he'll be back um because his skill is so high Welcome back, Dio. But uh, Thank you. yeah, that exhaustion cannot be super fun to deal with. But it's going to go into a DT2, so he's going to get to play some tapping. We'll see how this one goes. Yeah, I mean, even if, uh, even if you play team tournaments with a regional team, like even if you drop the full Australia team, eventually you're just going to hit a team that is, you know, three continents, and then you're just from a locked 15 UTC anyway, so unlucky. Um, as for this map, B-Mix, Silent Voyage to Eternity by Demetori. Uh, this is a classic one. Uh, with DT, this is extremely hard. Uh, very, very difficult pick. This has been free mod in multiple tournaments throughout the years, ranging from grand finals to quarterfinals in uh, as late ago as 2021, even in open rank tournaments and quarterfinals. Um, so this is a pick that has a long history in tournaments, but not really as a DT pick, and you probably see why. Uh, extended long streams with difficult flow aim plus doubles finger control make this extremely difficult for anyone to play well, and even the resident speed players for Let's Get K Barbecue uh, in Freddie Benson and Keto are at you know 90 ac or below here. Um, Pez as well at below 90 ac. Um, and Enri was full comboing until just a moment ago. Now it's just Malashevsky with the full combo on hidden double time. Still going strong. And the score lead already, you know, not quite double team score, but eh, getting there. Yeah, worth noting, Toki is holding on to uh, a pretty sizable combo. He's at 400 plus until that break. Uh, down at an 83 act, though, obviously not super comfortable. Um, shout outs to Enri, who was holding like 98, 99 for a good quarter, almost a third of this map, which is actually absurd yeah. um the finger control requirement on this is nuts um and hey look guys who else could it possibly be but malashevsky holding off the combined efforts of Takedo and freddie benson who are at 91 and 90 act versus his 94. you know last year hippo cup was the forum tournament i feel like this year uh malashevsky has decided to take over the mantle of just ridiculous grand finals performances in this tournament as uh 
I mean, this map's almost nine stars. This is like 8.7 or 8.8 .8 stars, something like that. Uh, and he's still going on the full combo halfway through. We're getting into the diff spike section, though. Uh, and at that point, you're expecting everyone to break, regardless of how good they have looked. And there goes Malashevsky. Nope, that was Bancho. He's still going. Okay. Yeah, um, this I, is this what? is eight. This is eight point seven two stars. Okay, um, there we go. He finally goes. I, I was just like gonna bring up the map to see what the best uh, DT score on this is because that combo was probably up there. There are not a lot of people who can do what he's doing on this. Maybe like the likes of an Arison. Um, or, you know, a, a Miranda or something. But yeah, that was an absurd combo. Also, you know, have Rectagon backing up with 330 combo best in the lobby. Like I said, Old Navy, they just always have the best combo in the lobby. It's just how it goes. Yep. Uh, yeah, the best DT only combo on this is from Shield with 1174. I think Maloshevsky pretty much got there. Um, and the best hidden double time combo is from Cook Easy with 1073 combo. Wait, that's a um, four miss, by the way. What a score from Cook Easy from uh, two years ago. God damn. Yeah, that is that's an insane, insane score. Um, but yeah, this would be the best hidden double time score on the map, at least by combo. I don't know how much accuracy is going to impact that. Um, but let's. Yeah, no, that's the best hidden double time score on the map because uh, he's over 40 mil if you take off no fail. Um, and 1157 combo is the second best DT combo of all time on the map. Uh, second only to shield. Yeah, can we also, can I just real quick talk about the fact that... I, oh, and actually, not, this is higher score than shield's play. This is uh, not not relevant here, but uh, Shige's score has 97.64 ack. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a little that dude had such insane finger control at this Shield GPM. Right, Shield anyway. score is also 96. <laughs> like, what? Uh, Osu players. Osu yeah. players, so good. Um, but we're going to go DT4 now as the second pick for Let's Get K Barbecue. So we're going to stay inside. We're going to stay within the double timing pool. Ikasama Life game, insane diff of... Uh, I, this is an RLC set of this map. Um, just like... It, it just exists. I this I didn't know about this map until it was put in this pool. This is apparently an old map from 2013 that RLC deleted for, according to him, no good reason, uh, and re-uploaded with some small changes in 2018. So this map uh, should feel uh, a lot older than it actually is. Uh, of course, 2013 RLC was peak, so I'm sure it's going to be a good map regardless. Yeah, um, RLC, one of the most trustworthy mappers in the game in terms of just always making stuff that's going to be good, right? Like, I, yeah. I, I never have a concern that there's going to be anything wrong with an RLC map. And also, have we, we're just going to, we're just going to see the same eight players for three maps in a row, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the mechanics roster for Let's Get K Barbecue is pretty much locked, right? And if you're talking speed players from the side of Old Navy, well, Badu's not playing 300 BPM. Reed Cat's not playing 300 BPM. Maybe you could put Arnold in for this. I think you make an Arno argument for Arnold. Um, but Intercamping's not exactly the 300 BPM guy. Ryuke hasn't been the 300 BPM guy for a long time now. He's specced much more into kind of all-rounder being good at generally everything, but uh, far less specialized into the speed. Um, so for Old Navy, I feel like, you know, yeah, maybe you could sub out somebody for Arnold on this pick. But aside from that, I feel like this is a pretty locked pure speed roster also, at least for a lot of the higher BPM stuff. That also doesn't take into account the fact that maybe not everyone is here for both teams, right? Yeah. Um, you'd hope I... so in grand finals, but at the same time, uh, it's sometimes not the case. A team, a team, teams of nine allow you a little bit of flexibility if players might be missing, and also uh, when you're old navy, you've got this super team. You've got players who can go in for pretty much any map, so you're not going to be um, super concerned if you have to, you know, perma lobby. They, like especially this four core, like there's just not a lot of stuff that they're going to be weak on, uh, so it's it's fine. Uh, going to be early breaks from Henry Nemraz, Freddy Benson, Toki at the very start. You got uh, double full or no full combo on Emrek. High combo on Rektigon and Malashevsky. Uh, Takedo holding as well. So that's going to be kind of a 1v1, those FCs, Takedo against Emrek. This is starting off a little more competitive than the maps we've seen before, I feel. Definitely a little more competitive, but unfortunately for Takedo, no supporting combo like Malashevsky's on his side. So he's got a lot of heavy lifting to do, and uh, unfortunately maybe a little bit too heavy on this sort of map, as there goes the drop, and there goes the score lead for Old Navy. 
Yeah, and uh, now it's just gonna go for however long Emrek may hold. His, his teammates are like matching anyway. Oh, Malachowski was a was there a Bancho? I think that was Bancho. Yeah, because he's still on seven hundred yeah. now. Yeah, there goes Emrek. I think that was a real miss. Malachowski holding doesn't really make it matter because Nemrus, Freddy Benson, and Toki all broke, and. Boy, um... Oh, that long stream. Yikes. That did not go well for anyone except Keto, I feel. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, well, they have an 8 million score lead, and it's hard to bring that back, because you have zero combo on Let's Get Game Barbecue as they four-way reset, and that's gonna be another point, another break point, only that just kind of settled right there. How did Habib even find this map? Random 2013 uh, re-upload by RLC. Like, I mean, to be fair, it's RLC, right? Yeah, so, fair but, enough. But the map has like 400 plays. Yeah, that's a super... I mean, I think it's got to just be because it's a known mapper. But I don't, I don't know. Habib just finds stuff. And I think he knows people who find stuff as well. Um, but, I mean, it's heavy to pick up threat. It just, it's, 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 he's able to find like just the most random obscure maps. I don't know. Well, yeah. random obscure map, number three, pretty good. Well, I shouldn't say number three. The last one was pretty yeah, was like, well known. Yeah, yeah, that is, B-Mix is not a random obscure known. map. Yeah, uh, pretty this, known. This particular random obscure map, very good for Old Navy. Also, the Hard Rock one is a Snow Nino aim map, and yeah. it's pretty well known for Actually, it's ranked, so never mind. Yeah, that's just ranked anyway. Um, yeah. So this is the first one that's, that's like, along those lines, but there are others in the pool. Um, and, yeah, just... Uh, it, look, Henry, Henry agrees with me, man. It's it's RLC, so of course it's a good map. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. And yeah, it's another big win. 8 million score victory for Old Navy. Double break point. Um, and oh, they're, Eagle Seeker. They're going to okay. quickly pick into Hard Rock 3. Yeah, Eagle Seeker. It's the captain diff. 8.84 um, stars. I think this is the outside of like... Nomad 4, which is not... The, the star rating doesn't properly parse. And then like a couple of uh, Hard Rock on 3 mod 2 and 3 mod 3. I think this is the high highest SR map in the pool. Um, yeah, none of the DTs are higher star rating than this. None of the Nomads outside of the Nomad 4, which is a Spire that doesn't count. Um, and then, yeah, just 3 mod 2 and 3 mod 3 with Hard Rock are higher star rating. Um, so, yeah, highest star rating outside of the 3 mod pool. Uh, it looks I will like... say this map is a little bit overstarred because it leans more heavily into like consecutive bursts, which are very highly weighted in star rating. I feel like this is maybe a little bit more accessible than what we just saw in the DT4, regardless of the star rating. I, yeah, you were just talking about that like on your stream, right? The the consecutive yeah. bursts <laughs> thing is just absolutely it's broken. crazy what that does to star rating. Yeah, and like PP as well. I forget. There's some like baby 300 pp dt map that's like literally it just has like four triples in a row that take it from you know like 250 pp to 350 pp it's nuts yeah uh, it's a little silly what consecutive triples or consecutive doubles do to a map nowadays um after they introduced this like concept of tapping islands because now a string of consecutive triples is worth more than just a normal stream which is ob objectively harder <laughs> so right yeah it's a little silly um uh, but here we go Old Navy versus Let's Get K Barbecue. Uh, and on Eagle Seeker, I feel like you're definitely preferring Old Navy on this one. Um, but when are you not preferring this team on a Grand Finals map pool that is like average eight stars? Yeah, they're going to be favored on just about everything. We are going to see the first uh, player change for Old Navy as well. We have uh, Ryuke coming in to replace Emrek. So, uh, you know, Ryuke... You mentioned him getting very good at a lot of all-around skill sets, and he does come in for a lot of hard rock stuff. Um, not starting off super great for plenty of players, though. It's going to be Rektagon breaking as well as Henry Toki, Freddie Benson, and Pez. So Malashevsky with the uh, only full combo left in the lobby now. 370 combo in, and everybody is gone. Just like that. Yeah, this is another ranked map. Um, I'm just going to... Real quick, go ahead and check the hard rock scores on this. The, yeah. I don't even. The, yeah, just just for no particular reason at all. For no particular reason at all. Uh, the best one is from Rectigon with 650 combo. Ah. Oh, okay. Wait, that was actually just that a, mark, That was just a straight line burst, and then he hit that awkward like alt flow pattern. Yeah, he would like have a, the combo if he hadn't broken on air on that burst. Uh, it was like a big spacing one third, though. I don't think you can say it's, uh, oh, it's he, an he, easy pattern. He, he hit the big spacing one third thing. Wait, he, did he? he missed, yeah, he missed on like a quint. Oh, what 
Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. he missed before the, the like the long the long one third spaced uh, flow pattern. Yeah, <laughs> unlucky. Now, he's, now he's got another three fifty combo. Like, what is this man doing? And uh, yeah, just once again, I mean, it's old navy. Just uh, unfortunately, like, there's no real way to sugarcoat it. They're just kind of gapping their opponents, as you would as you would yeah. expect them to do to ninety nine point nine percent of teams. Like you pretty much have to put together all of the remaining best tournament players in the world to compete against this team, especially on Grand Final Schools. And uh, respect to Let's Get K Barbecue for getting here, but that's oh not my what God. that what team is. What is this ending combo, and by the way? What is this ending combo? Yeah. So this is going to be like a oh, just okay. like, yeah, okay. All right, sure. I don't know. I'm done. I like, what is that, man? Okay, he finally chain misses the end stream, but that is just insane. Already the best hard rock score on the map and it's not close uh rectigon's v1 hard rock plays 650 max combo and 19 million score you take off no fail on this is closer to 24 million score for malachevsky on this play um and uh yeah that's also the best hidden hard rock play on the map the best one there from utami at 14 million score um so malachevsky gapping the entire score v1 leaderboard once again yeah, it's a real shame about the whole no fail thing, man, because his leaderboard scores from this match alone would be pretty messed up. Yep. Well, um, we'll see how the rest of this match goes, but the first four maps have been very one sidedly in favor of Old Navy, kind of as expected with this roster strength on paper. Um, so we're going to see if. Let's get K Barbecue can defy the odds and start to bring this one back. But uh, these first four have been very one sided in favor of Old Navy. Uh, if you're rooting for your favorite tournament player to win, uh, chances are they're on Old Navy. So you're probably rooting for that trend to continue. This was a lot of very famous tournament players on Old Navy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know though. What if my favorite tournament player was Takito? then you would be unfortunately very unhappy with the results so far in this match. <laughs> that is what. That is what if. Um, and if your favorite tournament player is on Let's Get K, Let's Get K Barbecue, I'm I'm sorry for the 0-4 start, um, but hopefully they can defy the odds and start to bring this back. And, I mean, in fairness, like, I think this is what you would have expected, even if you were a fan of Let's yeah. Get K Barbecue, seeing that the other team on the other side, so... Um, it, it is what it is. Um, or, okay, so what do you what do you what do you pick here? I, I feel like I would almost want to pick just something completely different. Well, they there know, it is. They pick Nomad Eight, which CS7 is seven aim. CS seven. <laughs> it's CS seven Xerius aim. Uh, oh, it's God. only one eighty BPM. It's pretty short. It's pretty slow. It's just you know CS seven. CS seven eight star aim is intimidating. Um. You don't realize how understarred CS7 Plus is until you play a high star rating CS7 Plus map, and then you're suddenly like, oh, yeah, this is really, really understarred, especially pure aim. So for this to hit 8.6 stars, um, I fear the scores may be a tad low on this one. Yeah, um, not actually sure who is good at this. I, 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 I mean, who is good at this? Maybe, like, okay, well, well, Bashi, if he were here. Where's Bashi man when you need him? Yeah. I could see Malashevsky, because he plays a lot of hard rock, probably pretty decent at the whole precision thing. Uh, Rectigon, likewise, very strong hard rock player. Um, but CS7, I mean, it's only 0.5 circle size smaller than CS6.5, and every tournament player plays a lot of CS6.5, right? Surely Clueless? Surely Clueless. Surely there's not an exponential gain in the reduction of circles as an area on the screen in relation to circle size, right? Surely the difference between CS6.5 and CS7 is the exact same reduction in area as the difference between CS6 and CS6.5. Um... But let's 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 hope the players have uh, refined their aim for this map. Do we have auto cur cursor size on? I wonder. No, this doesn't is auto, look like this it. This is not auto cursor size. I don't think. Well, actually. Oh, maybe it might be. Might be. Yeah. 
Well, here we go. Um, gonna see Ryuke in still. Um, oh, Pixay coming in for the first time for Let's Get K Barbecue. So, another new player for that side. And oh my Ooh. goodness. Okay, oh, Pixay and Freddie Benson gonna do stuff. Let's get K Barbecue with the first. I think this is their first lead of the match. They had one, they had one like at the very start of Angle Seeker, I think. Okay, but like, were the scores um, even at a million yet? Uh, I think so. Look at the oh, very all right. start. All yeah. right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Check the bot. It was one previous map. They had a bit of a score lead, but it hasn't stayed on their side for this long before, I don't think. Um, there's another miss for Pixie, though, and the combos are still going for Old Navy, and the score is going, and there it is back on their side once again. And now the aim starts up, and you're going to be lucky to hit most of this. Uh, this is still not the 8.6 star portion of the map, though. This is all still relatively easy in comparison to the dip spikes. It, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but hasn't Malashevsky spent, like, a not inconsiderable amount of time practicing CS7 on just random, like, like just, you know, CS I know Bubble Man stuff? does that. I think, um, I, I think I've heard of Malashevsky doing that as well. Um, which wouldn't surprise me. Um, I, I would have to look through some records in, and chat logs and stuff to see if, where I remember that from. But considering he is holding a 500 combo, um, my, my theory, my recollection here might be correct. Yeah. Um, once again, gapping the lobby. Right? Like, that, there's not much of another way to put it. it. He's just gapping the lobby again. He's at 700 combo now. Has still been hitting all of the streams, all of the aim. To be fair, the streams are not that bad on this. You can cheese the wiggles. You do not have to wiggle these. Um, so, very doable sections of map. And hits the giant accelerating stream. Freddy Benson also hitting it. Opixe and Enri also hitting it. Um, but the combo is still squarely with Old Navy right now. With Malashevsky and Enri uh, beating out Freddy Benson and Opixe. And there goes Opixe's combo. And the score lead now even further in favor of Old Navy once again. Uh, we're only halfway through this one, Aaron. We're already five point. Oh well, now six million team score ahead for Old Navy. Yeah, I just was sitting here after Malashevsky hit that XL stream, laughing with my mic muted because it's so ridiculous to see what he's putting on uh, the show he's putting on here today. And there goes Freddie Benson, which was the biggest combo on Let's Get K Barbecue side. Uh, Shoutouts as well. Henry still at the 600 combo, so not like there isn't backup here for Malashevsky, but um, en route to a okay, 1v4. He's 1v4. Yeah, he's, he is now 1v4ing with this 1100 combo. This is not fair. Oh, and he hits a D-cell oh, one third as well. Oh, he hits the one third. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, all right, man. All right. The only person in the lobby to have over a 75 combo once they came out of that. Rektion is not having a good time with that. Oh, my God. I heard the hit sounds, and I was like, oh. oh. my, what is that? Oh, what is what that is stream? What is that, bro? What are these? Okay, like... Oh, why this map is 8.6 stars i see it's not even the I jumps understand. it's just a random space stream okay maybe these jumps are 8.6 stars but like these gigantic ass space streams are a little silly no so this is like the actual map what is that? The, the rest of this map is actually just practice for the last quarter which is yeah this. like what are these patterns man this is just a little silly Okay, my question is, is Let's Get K-Barbecue going to be able to scrape together enough score to get above 16 million? Because if they can do that, they no. beat Malashevsky by himself. And I don't think they are. I think he's actually going to 1v4. He's up by 2 million, by the way, and they have zero combo. I'm pretty sure he's 1v4-ing this, and that's not right. Yeah, no, none of them are building up combo. He's actually going to 1v4 because yeah. he's, he's, he's like, he has as much combo as they do. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> this word, is, man. It's abnormal. <laughs> this is not... This is not normally. Someone check your PC. This <laughs> is just like. What is it? Oh my god! What a scorer, bro. He he won me for by two million on like a four minute long CS7 aim map with some just stupid space streams. Forty four misses was actually um, Freddie Benson by the way. Thirty four misses did have nice. a discount okay. in the lobby, um, but forty four misses on that. Um, I okay, wonder, how did he do that? How did he yeah. Do that? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we are literally all asking the same thing, Ryuke. Yeah. Do not worry. Uh, I mean, the rest of the lobby is pretty comparable, no? Like, you have 2.6 million on Opixay versus 2.6 million on Ryuke. Rekion actually bottom scored that. Enri is pretty much the same score as Freddie Benson, right? It's literally just Malashevsky 
bringing the score difference for Old Navy. It's literally just him, and he could have 1v4. The entire rest of the lobby is comparable, except for Malashevsky. Yeah, I, I, I've seen some I've seen some carry performances, but that one, that's something else entirely, man. And we're gonna go uh, playing with fire. Uh, so we're gonna go. <laughs> this is a crazy switch up. We're gonna go from a four and a half minute long 180 BPM CS7 aim map to a minute and 43 second 160 BPM CS 3.2 like alt map uh, i you that's some switching up right there yeah um speaking of what kind of screwed up patterns you have to have in the map it's 160 bpm for it to get to 8.15 stars with cs3 um i feel like we've, we've had a little that discussion. Scared. i feel like we've had that discussion before I've, when did we i've had this, this i've had this many times recently because like Grand finals for a lot of open rank tournaments is hitting at the same time, but I'm, I, I'll say it again anyway. Like, the kinds of patterns that you have to have at 160 BPM on CS3 to hit over eight stars is some unplayable bullshit, frankly. Um, so I'm, I'm scared. Like, I'm, I'm getting deja vu over that exact discussion point like we, I, I said feel, it many I times feel, recently i feel that we had this exact discussion like the two of us and i don't remember what it was about but I, yeah i'm a little yeah. i'm a little concerned about what this map is going to be like also uh still no mrec back in and it just it just it just doesn't matter i think he may just be sleeping yeah he might honestly be done. respect like it's, yeah it's, it's i mean it's 4 30 in the morning yeah it's 5 0 it's 4 30 in the morning Malashevsky is yeah, like go on sleep, one today and we're playing uh Henry wants another shot at the CS7. He's having none of this CS3 stuff. All right. Let's see it. Two hiddens for each team once again. Malashevsky, Rectigon, Henry and Ryuke still in for Old Navy. Same four once again. Takito, Freddy Benson, Opixay and Emerald Ages in for Let's Get K Barbecue. Emerald Ages is rank 5000. <laughs> Just yeah. let that sink in. Yeah. Um, dude is a very, very good reading player. I don't know as much about yeah. him on stuff like this, but he's really good at reading. Um, unfortunately, does not seem to be having the greatest time to start things off here with several breaks in the uh, in the intro there. Um, but, you know, you've got a triple FC on Old Navy and no FCs on... Or, excuse me, one FC with Freddie Benson. So, uh, a few players having an okay time so far. Okay, Malashevsky. Okay, nope, finally full... everyone breaks except Takito. Yeah. Yo, Takito? Like, we forget just how good guys like Takito and Freddie Benson are um, because, like, of what Old Navy is doing in this match. They're just getting outshined. Um, but, man, Takito holding a 200-something combo. I mean, that can bring this back if he keeps holding. Problem is, that's a yeah. very, very tough ask. That if doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 just hinging on on that if. But hey, man, he's got 300 combo, and uh, well, maybe not not doing super great. Takito, Takito. Okay, oh, that if okay. might just okay, be cosplaying Takito. Mr. Olympia right now, and he finally broke the combo. This is a this is Takito's skill set, right? The dude is really good at this like awkward aim. Um, like super control aim heavy stuff, like the clip farm types of maps, but uh, so is Malashevsky, unfortunately. Like That's everyone else is just that. chain missing the entire map. <laughs> I fear, that's, I fear that's the story of this entire match for Let's Get K Barbecue. It's just unfortunately Malashevsky. Yeah. Well, 6 0 for Old Navy. Uh, we said at the end of 4 0 that Let's Get K Barbecue would need to go. Uh, defy the odds. At this point, the odds are um, very, very large to defy, and so they are going to need to go on an absolute burner here and win almost eight in a row. Um, they only have one point of leeway here in Grand Finals, and the way this is going so far, you're just expecting Old Navy to take the next two and bring it to an 8-0 clean sweep. But let's get K-Barbecue with some good scores recently as well. They've had score lead in some parts of the match. Uh, they had Takedo put up 2.4 million on that. Looked very good there. So maybe if they can get a carry performance or two out of Takedo and or Freddie Benson or somebody else on the team, uh, it might be doable. They're going to pick Akatsuki no Suki DT1. This is not the Sky Star difficulty. So playable, but just barely. Yeah, this is this is really really difficult, but this is like 
actually doable. Uh, shout out Ryuke with an FC on this from four years ago. Um, very cool. He is rank four still with a couple players having gone over top of that since then, but that is, uh, this is like a relatively playable DT1 in comparison to a lot of the stuff we've seen, right? So maybe we'll see some, maybe we'll see some good scores. Yeah, see how it goes. Uh, this is one of the maps that actually has FCs with the mod combination attached to it here in Info Cup Grand Finals. So uh, at least we know this one's doable, unlike some of the other picks where there are no FCs with Hard Rock on uh, very many of the Hard Rock picks and uh, similar story on some of the other DTs as well. This one at least uh, should be maybe doable for some of these players. They are 10.5 though, so a higher approach rate than usual. Um, and still pretty bursty also, like this is not just a basic aim map, there is a lot of kind of awkward aim and bursts in this, um, which is why there aren't that many DTFCs on the leaderboard. Old Navy with Rektigon, Enri, Malashevsky, and Ryuke coming in, Takito, Toki, Freddy Benson, and Pez in for Let's Get K-Barbecue once again. And I believe this was their pick, so looking once again to the mechanics to try to take a point here against Old Navy. Yeah, uh, thus far in the match, it's been real emphasis on that whole try aspect of that sentence. Uh, unfortunately, you know, there is no try. There, There is do and, and not do, and they've been not doing so far. However, triple reset from Old Navy in the first 100 combo. And let's get K-Barbecue out to an early lead on a map. I feel like I've said this, like, what did we discuss twice so far this match? But maybe yep. this is the time. This has been the type of map that Let's Get K-Barbecue has been good at over the course of this tournament. This is something that Takedo can play well. This is something Freddy Benson, Toki can play well. Obviously, Pez holding on as well. A little lower accuracy, but keeping the combo alive. Uh, there are oh, three of them, though. And now it's just Freddy Benson alone. Uh, 1v1 Ryuke with the FCs, but Rektigon and Malashevsky building combo back up to try and make this gap up from the early goings. Oh! But there go Rektigon and Ryuke, and now it's just Malashevsky not on the FC, on a re uh, reverse choke right now. Uh, versus the double S from Freddie Benson on this map so far. Yeah, Freddie Benson, man, very, very good at these things. Like, the just DT, like, kind of standard DT map player um, showing up big here so far, still holding, finally drops his first 100. There goes the oh. break. The thing is, though, it's a 2 million score lead, and there's a decent amount of combo on both Toki and Pez. Malashevsky, though, 650 combo, and Ryuke building up to about 300. Gotta see Toki and Pez holding the rest of the way through. We're only halfway in. There go Malachevsky and Ryuke, though. Wait a minute. Are we seeing a point here? Could we be seeing? Let's get K-Barbie getting on the board. There is no try. There is only do, and they are doing it. Toki and Pez holding on to the combo. It's Enri and Rektigon with a little bit of combo for Old Navy as well. So this is still in a precarious situation. There go three of them. It's just Enri now holding on to combo. But Freddy Benson has worked back up to about 370 as well. And with that accuracy, it's going to be enough to hold off with this 4 million score lead as well for Let's Get K Barbecue. There's going to have to be a pretty big unanswered combo for a lot of this last quarter on Old Navy. And that's just not happening right now. Try not, uh, do not try. Uh, a applies to both teams here and uh old navy are not doing it it's let's get k barbecue with still a three million score lead here it's going slowly in the favor of old navy but with freddie benson hitting that last pattern i think that should be enough to keep them in the lead and let's get k barbecue well, we're gonna see if it was enough as freddie benson does drop the miss there at the end but it's a three million score lead and that's the end of the map let's get k barbecue on the board and that is like a humongous win for Let's Get K Barbecue. 6 0 down, looking just so out of it this entire match. But they say, no, we will not be swept on this day. We will put a point up on the board. And it may be 6 1, but that's, a, that's infinitely better than 7 0. Let's Get K Barbecue puts up a point, saves themselves from the sweep. And regardless of what the final outcome is, regardless if it's 8 1, 8 7, this is the start of at least a point up, and that is all they could ask for. Very good start for Let's Get K Barbecue. Uh, we'll see if they can continue it on this one, though. Hikari. Now, technically, this does have a DTFC, but there's only one of them, and it's from Cookiezy. And the next best score on the leaderboard is a Hard Rock FC. 
And then the next best scored on the leaderboard is a Nomad FC. There have been other attempts at DT scores on this map as well. Rectigon has a one miss with uh, about 100 combo off from a full combo. Uh, MCY4 has a four miss. Uh, Worst HR player has a five miss. I mean, you know, this is playable. But when there are easy FCs on the top 50 leaderboard, it kind of puts into perspective just how hard DT actually is on this map. And no one has matched the only full combo on this from Cookie Easy yet. Um, so this is not something where you're expecting a full combo. That said, a couple of people who are very, very good at this sort of thing on Old Navy. Rectigon, of course, with the second best DT play on the map and the best DT only play on the map as well. Uh, players like Maloshevsky and Enri, I think, going to be very strong on this as well. Uh, this kind of aim control, high BPM stream aim, uh, very good for those players as well. Uh, and Ryuke, of course, ever good on the double time. And Old Navy, this was in MGC, right? Like yes, I think last so. fall. So there's a couple people on Old Navy, I think, who are still in at that stage. I would say it would, would have been Emrek, Malashevsky, and Enri, perhaps? Maybe? Um, I don't remember where we pulled it. I think it was, <laughs> it was either it was either finals or grands. I'm I'm fairly sure, um, and we saw a couple of actually pretty decent scores on this. But yeah, Kukizi, the goat of this skill set, uh, and you can instantly see why the flow aim in this is just absolutely ridiculous. And uh, not the greatest intro from really anyone in the lobby. Henry, the only one to make it out alive. Uh, Takito a bit behind him there. Yeah, it's just Henry with the full combo, and uh, Henry. You know, Kukizi is the goat of the skill set, but this is also something that Henry is very strong on. Um, and this is another pick with an early lead out the gate for Old Navy. Looking to go up to match point here with this pick. Not quite there yet, but looking for that match point. Unable to finish out the clean sweep now going for the throat. We'll see if uh, Enri is able to hold on much longer here. Takeda is not too far behind. It's a good combo for Takeda, but Maloshevsky is there right behind Enri with 300 combo as well. And there goes Takedo, and there goes the score lead, and there's the FC still intact for Enri, and the support still going strong for Malashevsky. And uh, there goes another combo reset for some members of Let's Get K Barbecue. Malashevsky is going to trade it out, but uh, yeah, what is Enri doing? This guy is still holding some combo. Again, there are easy FCs on the leaderboard of this map, and this is with DT. And he hits that oh, wiggle as well. Wiggle. I mean, like, what? Uh, what huh? Yeah, I don't know. Enri uh, saw Maloshevsky with that 1v4 earlier, and he said, hey, I want one of those two. And uh, yep. on his way so far, halfway through this one, he is 1v4ing by a similar margin. It's about 2.6 million that he is 1v4ing by currently. And with very limited combo on the side of Let's Get Care Barbecue, that 1v4 isn't going anywhere anytime too soon. And it's just the Enri show. We are here to witness greatness from Old Navy here, whoever it may be, whether it's Maloshevsky, Emrek, Enri, or another one of the illustrious members of this team. It feels like always somebody doing something crazy. And this time, Enri continues to go. He's going to hit 1,000 combo here. Like, what is this? Score? How many DT plays actually have 1,000 combo on this map? I mean, there's only three DT only plays that have above 1,000 combo. There's only Four. Cook Easy with a hidden double time yeah. above 1,000 combo. So this is the fifth ever play above a thousand combo with dt on this map at least of ones that have not failed he is still going on this fc he is now the third best dt combo ever on the map second only to rectigon on dt only and second only to cook easy on the entire leaderboard and this is one more section of map away from a full combo for Enri on this pick, which would be actually absurd to get the second ever DTFC on this map in match. You have to think maybe the nerves are weighing down a little bit with that in mind, but this is now potentially doable for Enri as a full combo here. I, I, I don't, is there one section left? I think it's We're just 70 ending. combo away. Is this just the just ending? ending? Has he done I it? Yeah, I think he has done it. This is going to be the second ever DTFC on the map, as long as he doesn't just completely fall apart due to nerves on the ending here. And he doesn't. Oh, he almost got so excited. And wow. FCs, man. The second ever FC on the map. And it's going to languish at rank 5 DT because of the no fail. But that is an absolutely ridiculous performance here in a grand finals, no less.
he put up like a 930. Yeah, 830 PP. That's an 830 just just casual as you'd like. Um I I don't know how you can't really contextualize that. That's just ridiculous. I mean, uh, here here's some context. For most of the like 800 plus PP plays that we've seen in tournament ever, right? They're on pure mechanics picks, right? DT speed hard rock stream aim, things like this, right? Like Karcher's Titanic of My Heart Will Go On, right? Stuff like that. Not Hikari. Not a map that has one FC ever with double time. That is just actually completely absurd. Um, that is in Enri's top 100, I think. It is his number 73 top play now. Um, like, yeah, it's not big PP, but 830 in match is just absolutely ridiculous. I, yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, you have to put that on the shortlist, right? Like, there have been some pretty incredible tournament plays, but that goes right up there with with damn near any of them. I, I don't know. That, he put up, I think it was, a, what, an, like an 858 combo or something in MGC. I was just checking that, and then I closed the tab. Um, which we thought was like an outrageous performance then, uh, and then he gets he comes back and he just FCs it as as you will. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Wow. <laughs> just wow. Um, yeah, insane. That's that's just ridiculous. Okay, on to the next pick. It's Friedman. Uh, picked up here in I think the free mod pool. Yes, this is free mod two. Mapped by Xarius once again, 240 BPM, AR 9.7, 8.6 stars, no mod or hidden, 9.3 stars on Hard Rock. Yeah, uh, Hard Rock on this is, well, Malashevsky is actually going Hard Rock, so is Pez. Um, is there something that makes this Hard Rock friendly? I guess it's only, it's CS... Or I, I I don't know. See, I'm just four AR nine point seven. Like I, I guess it's fine. It's OD eight point seven too. Like I don't know, but Malashevsky and Pez have the highest combo in the lobby right now. So, I mean, surely there's something. <laughs> surely there's something about it. Well, I mean, one of them is named Malashevsky, and he just does not care about your normal logic of what sort of mods you maybe should go on a map. Um. Pez has just been playing fairly well. I mean, it's kind of quiet, right? When you're down seven to one, it's hard to really talk all that much about what's going on on that side. Um, but, you know, Pez, solid. Also, you have Taquito holding as well. So this is another one where, you know, kind of the aim mechanics stuff working out in at least the early stages for Let's Get K Barbecue up by a little over a million so far. And this actually, this three-way combo for let's get k barbecue plus another 400 combo on a pixie as well i mean matching enry on the nomad there goes enry so pixie now matching rectigon and a matching combo for pez on malashevsky's hidden hard rock toki and taquito just unanswered there up on the top row chilling and this is going very well for let's get k barbecue nice mechanics pick so far from them as they continue to surprise here in the back half of this match putting up some very good scores on this map yeah Henry, they're writing in smoke i'm still probably you know shaking out of breath all that stuff trying to recover from that last play um i, I think that's what he was writing at least uh so you know there is that also reed cat coming in um you, you can question mark that a little bit but whatever but regardless, I mean, against a play like this from Let's KK Barbecue, it almost doesn't matter. You'd have to have multiple FCs, and Old Navy would be asking a lot to have that. Uh, yeah, Pez Taquito. This is some really good stuff. The mechanics, I it makes you wonder why they didn't pick these couple maps maybe a little earlier, but better late than never, I suppose. Ooh. Better late than never for sure, but uh, looking a little bit shakier here near the end, Taquito now the only one to be able to match Malachevsky. Oh, Pixie is still matching Rectigon, but it's combo advantage for Old Navy. Slightly higher combo for both Malachevsky and Rectigon. And unanswered 570 from Enry now. Yeah, the score lead is 9 million, but that is going to shrink pretty rapidly. This is score V1, so an extra 600 combo is big. And there... Okay, well, never mind. It's no longer big. I say it was it was big. It, it's not anymore. 
And you, it, it's just going to be Takedo Opixay 2v2 against Rektagon and Malashevsky. As long as they hold, there goes Opixay. That is now... That's a 1,200 combo advantage now. How is Malashevsky doing this? What is he doing? Uh, like? it, 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 don't we say that? Okay. okay, there he goes. Uh, that being said, Rektagon. Rektagon held through all of that. He's got 1,350 combo. No combo at all on the side of Let's Get K Barbecue. It's 5 million. That will come down to Rektagon by himself if he continues to hold. He's still got a decent amount of time. He is not going to hold. And that might just do it. That's going to be, I think, Let's Get K Barbecue getting a second point. Yeah, they're 4 million points up with no combo at all on the side of Old Navy. And that's Let's Get K Barbecue's second point. Better late than never, they put themselves two points now on the board. Nicely done, especially Pez being able to match Malashevsky for so much of that map. Takedo, over 20 million score alone, nearly matching the final score from Malashevsky. And Opixay at 13 million. It really was the team-wide score there as the two bottom scores for Let's Get K Barbecue from Toki and Pez. Still better than Enri and Reedcat scores by a pretty considerable margin. Um, so even though you have that 17, 18 mil from Rectigon on Nomad, it's just going to end up not mattering at all with the full team being very comfortable on this map for Let's Get K Barbecue. Awesome scores from them. Yeah, it's a very, very good team-wide performance. Uh, you, you love to see it, you know, the, the team kind of coming together for a couple of these late picks, putting up some solid scores and getting a couple of points on the board. Really, shout-outs just everybody on that side. And that was a very fast pick. Oh, my goodness. Um, it is going to be Hard Rock 5 as potentially the final pick here for Old Navy. Still match point this one on their own selection. Chirality, Dissymmetric Long Version. This is the Kotori difficulty. Four minutes of 200 BPM and just kind of brutal tech. And I think this is uh, Old Navy recognizing that pretty much every pick for Let's Get K Barbecue has been pure mechanics, and that when it has been a little bit more gimmicky, they have excelled. So, Old Navy going with the uh, probably most gimmicky pick in the Hard Rock pool. I think this pick is very solid for them. We'll see how well they end up doing on this overall, but I mean, with how big the focus has been on mechanics for Let's Get K Barbecue, yeah, you know, you do have Taquito, you do have some very good uh, tech players on side of Let's Get K Barbecue, but um, making them a little bit less comfortable is still going to be a good shout. And uh, they're, they've been looking pretty good on all sorts of maps, all match long for Old Navy. So pick of the litter with what you want to go with here as the potential last pick. Yeah, and I mean, this map just suits Rektagon and Malashevsky like to a T, right? The Hard Rock tech, I, who better than those guys? Uh, Takedo will probably be very solid on this. I got to think somebody like that, you know, he's always been a really, really good tech player. Um, but the rest of that roster, not quite as well known for this skill set. Um, it looks like we're leaving Reedcat in. So I guess Old Navy just, you know, trying to trying to get some of the end of bench guys some playing time as you do at the end of a uh, maybe a basketball game. You know, 20 point lead with a minute to go. Let's just put in the 12th man. Uh, let him let him do his thing and uh, figure that you're still going to win anyway. Yeah, no Badu, no Arnold, no intercambing so far in the match for uh, Old Navy, but be getting most of the roster in, six out of nine so far. And I believe uh, I have heard that there might that Badu might have some injury concerns. Um, not entirely sure on that one. So I, I don't I can't speak to Arnold and Intercamming. I don't know what the story is there. I did look at a leaderboard for one of these maps a minute or two ago and saw Intercamming with a score listed as now. So oh. huh. I, I don't know, but whatever. They're using the players they need to win the maps. I guess it's fine. Yeah. Even if they haven't played this match, I'm sure they've played throughout the rest of the tournament and they're at least intercamping is yeah. here and practicing, so yeah, it doesn't really they, matter. Yeah, if they, they win anyway, does it really matter whether they put them in or not? No, this isn't like a situation where you have a guy who literally didn't play a map the entire tournament. Like they have they have used their full roster at various times. They also won uh two matches in bracket stage via forfeit. Um so they've just kind of played less than a lot of other people, which is a little unfortunate. But what can you do? Anyways, Malashevsky time, because this is a hidden hard rock tech map, and he is the hidden hard rock tech map player of our times. Now, also, to get on nope, Pez. Nope, oh, nope, 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 they're gone. Yeah, Malash, just watch, just watch Malash. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Never mind. That was Bancho. I'm not sorry. Nope. He's still good. He's still going strong. He's still got the set. Okay. Well, 
I mean, the map is almost eight stars, and it's 200 BPM tech. I mean, look at the patterns, right? Like, this is quite hard. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any FCs on a map like this, even from the outset. Um, and, of course, no FCs on this. So, uh, Malachevsky, still 4.8 million, not quite 1v4, but pretty close. Everybody else below 2 million in the entire lobby. Um, so, gapping the entire rest of the lobby by 3 million score himself. Worth noting that he unsurprisingly does have rank 1 on this map uh, on Bancho. It is uh, Nomad, and it's 1,700 of 2,100 combo. So, this map actually has no FCs. Um, not really a surprise when you can see what's going on with it. Um, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm curious what the HDHR leaderboard looks like. Potentially no passes on a There's map three. Like this. There's three. One of okay. them is one of them is in fact Opixe. He's rank one HDHR on this. Wow. Uh, the other two are the real Aman and Dash Devin. I've never heard of these players. Um, directing on rank one hard rock only. Shocking, I know. Shocking. Truly. Um, but this is just gonna be this is just gonna be old navy. I don't know. What what more can you say at this point? Yeah, I mean. This is kind of how we expected this match to go. I think if you predicted an 8-0 sweep, not too many people would call you out for uh, anything there in this matchup. As Old Navy, the strength of the roster, just absolutely insane. And they are going to end up winning this map, winning this match, winning Hippo Cup 7 in 8-2 fashion against Let's Get K Barbecue. Largely off the back of an absolutely stellar performance from Malashevsky um, with some... Notable performances as well from other members on the roster. Of course, the Hikari DTFC, definitely a highlight there for Enry. Uh, but very many players on this team with some very good scores. No, worth noting, 4 million score for Rectagon by the end of that. Uh, still outperforming anyone on Let's Get K Barbecue by about 2 million there. Um, and of course, 6 million for Melashevsky. Top score in the lobby by a good 1.6 million over Rectagon. And that is it. Eight to two. Old Navy taking the match, taking Hippo Cup seven and winning the tournament. Congratulations to them. And they are out of here. They were gone before we even loaded into the score screen. Um, it says a lot about kind of how this tournament went for them, I feel. They just ran through everyone and everything in their way. Um, I, I think we always anticipated this team to be in the top spot and to the surprise of no one here they are uh you gotta give the props to let's get k barbecue definitely made a run that i don't think many people would have anticipated out of them um you know top three and then getting into the grand finals via a forfeit win it happens um but they got a couple points in in that same grand final in this match here so uh gotta give credit where it is deserved to them did what they needed to do to get here just ran into an unstoppable force of a team in Old Navy. So congratulations to them for getting all the way up to second, though. Um, that's uh, that's going to be it, though. Uh, thank you to, to everyone who's been here. Thank you, Dio, for the commentary. K refing, James streaming. Um, big shout outs to all the players, all the staff, um, all the viewers for this tournament. It's been, I don't know. It's been a little bit of a different iteration this year, right? Not as many teams had to go to the reduced size group stage. To, uh, had some unfortunate FFs in the bracket stage. So, um, you know, I, objectively, oh, there are some disappointments in this tournament. But I think at the end of the day, the best team won. And the best team put on some pretty incredible performances over the course of this bracket stage and throughout the entire tournament. So, um, well done to Old Navy. Congratulations to them. Thank you to everyone for being here. Shout out to Habib. Of course, the pools were... Hippo Cup pools, and we knew <laughs> we always know they're going to be fun and exciting, and uh, that happened again here. So, thank you to the guy with uh, his name sort of on the tournament. That's going to do it for this year. Um, we'll be back in a year. Hopefully, we get 64 teams again. Hopefully, we can go back to a little normalcy. Hopefully, we, uh, you know, we, we, want, we might see some changes in format. We might see some changes in rank restrictions. Who knows? It'll be a year out. Stay, stay tuned for that next winter when the announcement shows up. But that's been it. I've been T1G. He's been Dio. Have a good day, everybody. Congratulations, Old Navy, the victors of Hippo Cup 7. And we'll see you next year. And thank you to T1G for hosting. See you next year.